Yeah, so, so moving over to, to Europe again, um, Jose Antonio, um, we've seen a lot of big global tuna deals over the years, uh, driven by the likes of Bolton, Thai Union and Dong Won. I mean, you, you, you kind of alluded to, to your views on this earlier, but I want to kind of go into it a bit more detail. But do you see that that will, will, will actually continue or do you think that that's going to kind of stop for the, for the foreseeable future? And then also, what about um, Latin America? Because there's been you know, lots of talk about um, big players looking to invest in, in, in Latin America and it has happened with a couple of companies, for example, say um, Calvo um, with Gomez de Costa, and then um, yep. uh, Isabel, I guess, has assets in in, in Latin America anyway. But um, it's not happened as much as as it's, it's as it's been talked about. So, just yep. two linked questions there. I just wanted your views on those. Yeah. Well, um, we've seen in the past, um, as you mentioned, Thai Union and um, and Bolton being very aggressive in the consolidation. Um, and it, their growth uh, via inorganic activity, um, different strategies. We've seen, you know, Thai Union stepping into the European market, um, buying into France, uh, buying into Germany, uh, trying to buy into Southern Europe as well. Uh, and we see Bolton on the defensive, uh, trying to, you know, making sure that uh, uh, they were the ones snapping up those assets available in places like Spain or Italy, especially in Spain, where we've seen some relevant transactions in the last number of years. Um, the, uh, I mean, what, what we're seeing right now, now is we still have a, a relevant number of independent, sizable, family-owned companies in the tuna space uh, across Europe. So you would have thought that uh, there's still, um, you know, a lot of a lot of activity uh, and a lot of um, you know sort of transactions to happen in the um, in the short to medium term. Uh, you know, having said that, the uncertainty that everyone's facing, that's probably going to uh, deter some of those potential buyers on, you know, pushing the button on cross-border activity. Jose Antonio, I was um, interested uh, to, to ask you about the, the shelf, shelf stable and the frozen sectors in Europe, which are kind of big focuses for you. And, and both have been, you know, performing comparatively well um, in, the, in this pandemic from, you know, from what I gather. Do you think that is going to precipitate more M and A in those kind of um, segments of the European seafood sector? Yeah, well, thanks, Tom. Um, yeah, I mean, as, as you say, we've seen um, those specific kind of verticals of the seafood space performing quite well throughout this COVID um, crisis. Um, having said that, probably the frozen kind of part of things uh, has you know taken a hit, given the fact that they have strong focus on the food service industry uh, and the increase in consumption um, at a household level hasn't really compensated that decrease in volumes that typically have been driven mainly by the food service industry. But having said that, um, um, I'm quite sort of aligned with Tim's views on on a couple of aspects that have to do with m activity happening, you know, uh, on this side of the pond. Basically, um, we're probably going to see more local MLA activity uh, um, to the extent that uh, players are typically in this context a bit more cautious about cross-border MLA activity. So we'll probably see some further local consolidation. Uh, and that's basically driven by the fact that uh, we still have a relatively large number across Europe and mainly in Southern Europe uh, of small and medium companies, which are still family-owned, and the whole, you know, pandemic has probably scared many of these families operating uh, SMEs, uh, and probably just thinking that given the level of uncertainty that they're currently facing, it's probably time to monetize their investments, and probably time to walk away from the sector, and just leave, you know, these businesses um, to being taken care of by larger players. So. Um, on the back of a reasonably decent performance of both um, the shelf stable and frozen sectors, we do expect a uh, decent amount of M&A uh, deals taking place in the space, but with a stronger focus on local activity and with family-owned businesses probably restructuring themselves.